Hello Frontiersmen, I'm going to quickly show you how farming works. If this video helps you, please like it and don't subscribe to me. Alright, farming is a little complicated in this game. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it and show you the menu. Now, you have to kind of pick what you're going to grow in the next three years. And all of them do some different stuff, okay? The main thing you want to remember is to keep your um, your crop, uh, your your field maintained by using these guys right here so you can see here, these are the options that you can use uh that you can grow of all things you can grow and uh there's this guy right here which performs field maintenance and that takes time all right so you gotta make sure you set it up i'm actually going to set it up so where he's the first thing that happens or the last thing that happens is field maintenance. I think I actually might set it up as the last thing that happens at the end of each year is field maintenance. Because when you start the season, you want to grow things like turnips that have a frost, high frost tolerance. You can see his frost tolerance is 10, right? And then you can, when you're in the middle of the season, you can pick something that has no frost tolerance. Uh, like these guys right here. Okay, so you're going to want to change it up over time too because it helps with fertility. There's other items, there's other things in here that help fertility. Um, like this uh, crop right here, it helps, it increases the fertility. As you can see, it says impact on fertility plus five. I don't know if there's any other ones that help with fertility. I don't think there are. No just that one so if you're going low on fertility that's the main thing you got to remember if you're getting low on fertility you got to start rotating these these clover crops in and out and then i would also make sure you put the maintenance in either every year or every other year um in between here at the end of the season so i'm just going to set it up right now keep in mind you can just move it around so if i'm going to get rid of that and then I'm going to put the crop guy in, but I want him at the end of the season. Yes, you can come in. Okay, and then what can I fit in there? Nothing. So I can't do, I can do the, the uh, turnip and then the carrots. And then he does the field maintenance. So this is kind of the setup that I'm going to go for. And I'm going to try skipping one year, see if that affects it at all. I'm going to keep an eye on the weed level. If it starts getting out of control, then you can do two at once like I'm doing here. Uh, that kind of keeps it under control or when you start losing control, I should say. And uh, I also have it here kind of in the middle too. I think I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to do the clover to increase fertility. And then I'll put something in between like some radishes or whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, make sure that uh, you, you rotate crops uh, regularly because it does help with fertility as well. Um, also, if you're growing a certain crop often, make sure you increase it. This is, this is the soil mixture for turnip. So if you press this button right here, you can bring it up to where you need it to be for that particular, um, yeah, that particular, how do you reduce it? Just by pressing this, right? Why is it not going down? This game is a little glitchy. Anyways, so yeah, you bring it up to the levels it needs to be uh, to help with uh, growing that crop. I'm going to show you in a second when I grow these um, carrots how to know exactly how many carrots you just grew. All right, so I'm going to expect now that this thing is just about to run out, that my weed level is going to drop. Even though there's nobody there doing anything there, I think it's going to drop as soon as I pass over. Boom, there we go. So it doesn't matter if your guy's there doing anything, okay? Uh, if you see nobody working on it, I don't think it really matters. I don't think it makes a difference at all. All right, so we're currently planting the carrots. You can see that the planting amount is going up. All right, let's go ahead and bring this in. You can see what's affecting it. My fertility rate is affecting it uh, by 39, so I'm losing 39 carrots. Um... Positive factor and negative factors. Yeah, I'm losing 39 carrots out of my yield because I don't have perfect fertility. Um, my weed levels are low, so that's not affecting it that much at all. You can see it's planted. My max yield is 520, and then my expected yield is going to be 507. Okay, now we're going to wait till this ends. 
even if you don't see your guys working on it, that means they're still harvesting, I believe. And we're going to see how much I harvest from this crop. Okay, it seems to be coming in nicely. I think they are harvesting. Now that I got rid of the weeds, it's much easier to see. So make sure you do a couple good weedings uh, in there to see better. All right, I can see them harvesting right now. They're getting a good amount. All right. And there we go. That's how crops work. So the main thing that you got to remember is the maintenance of the field. You have to manually do the maintenance of the field yourself. Okay? Once you understand that, then you got everything under control. If this video helps you, please like it and don't subscribe to me. Thanks for watching. I hope my video helped you. If it did, please return the favor by leaving me a big fat like and a comment so I outrank those useless Let's Players with 20 minute videos. And if you want to take it one step further so I don't have to sell ugly useless t-shirts like all those other YouTubers, leave me a super thanks. It's a new feature. It's below where the arrow is pointing, right beside the share button.